So here we have our new starter ruler from Constantine Quilts, as you can see, and it is made here in Australia. Uh, before you begin with this ruler on a domestic machine, it's always a good idea to mark out crosshairs on your uh, fabric. Put some stable tape on here, and now I'm going to attempt to crosshatch with it. So let's see how we go. just move my threads out of the way as you can see now I'm just going to use my crosshair that is marked in the middle to move me across so that I know I'm on a straight line and now that I have that straight line I'm going to use my dotted lines on this ruler to take me up the other way so I'll just follow that line up to the top and again I'm going to use my crosshair to judge where I want. Now normally you would mark all of this onto a quilt if you were going to cross hatch. But because I want to just test this ruler and see how it works, this is what I am. So I know that I'm using the inner dotted line so I just need to move across a little bit more. And then come back. touching that line so you can see I'm getting some nice straight lines again I'm just going to move over using the cross hatch line as a guide I'm just going to move across to about there now I can judge that by putting the dotted line back onto this previously stitched line and then coming up as you can see Again, just using the judgement of that crosshair line to move myself across and using the lines that I've previously stitched. I'm just going to come across about there, line them up on those dotted lines and come back down. Now because I'm working in an empty space it's pretty hard for me to figure out if I'm actually going to be cross hatching to the top exactly where I would normally finish. Um, there is a marked line here but other than that that's all I've got. So I'll just turn it around now and I'm going to come back in the opposite direction and I'll just come back here all the way along as you can see in a straight line. Now I'm going to use this side of the ruler to push myself along the line and I'm just going to use it to judge where I need to be to cross hatch back the other way. So let's go back here. Touch the line, move up the line. Now you could turn your ruler to actually guide you up this line if you wanted, which I think is probably a very good idea with this ruler, it's really handy. It's got plenty of marks on it to allow you to do the job that you need to do. And as you can see, we're starting to cross hatch. And as you can see, this is our cross hatch square. If I'd actually marked out the square, I would have brought these up to match on the line. But as I just wanted to see what it could do, this is the end result. Now I've drawn in an actual square, so I'm going to move myself up um, the required amount and come up about a centimetre, half an inch. And I'm going to grab my ruler, this big the curved ruler again, I'm going to place the curvature onto my line so that I get a centimetre or half an inch going back. I'll just go back. 
and we will come back to this other line. Now using the straight edge, we're just going to travel up the line, like so. Now remember we have our guide, we touch the top of this curvature to the top of, top of our curvature. curve now let's see if we can create a design so I'm just going to come out and see if I can create a seed a seed pattern so I'm just going to come to here and then I'm going to travel backwards again following the same line which you can do that see that this ruler helps you do quite accurately 